everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's a bright and sunny morning and I thought let me do something very uh, you know sweet for today and I thought of making Florentines. Florentines are actually this word Florentine comes from Fla Florence of course and necessarily they are biscuits very crispy biscuits which you make with uh, say sugar butter melted butter and of course all the dry fruits that you love to have. And because we know so much about the dry fruits, you know, we can use all of them together into a biscuit and which doesn't use any atta or maida or flour or refined flour. And hence it becomes so, so interesting for kids to have and so very nutritious. So let's start making Florentines, which you can make in just 15 minutes. A quick and easy recipe and an everyday snack which can always be preserved for kids to have, for people to have in your family anytime they want to snack. Good thing about the Florentines is that you need all of them in the same quantity, the ingredients. Say so for instance, here I have taken 55 grams of butter, 55 grams of cherries, 55 grams of almond powder and you can always choose for almonds, uh, the whole almonds also because I had almond powder so I chose for that chose that and here we also have around 55 grams of raisins and 55 grams of sugar which I have put in a mixie there and the only thing that's different is that of course one tablespoon of cream which we need will need for the recipe it's so easy let's get going and let's have make one of the easiest dishes ever and something that's so healthy and something that all your kids and everyone in the family can enjoy and will surely surely love in between, I'd just like to mention that this these things are going into the oven. So I'll just put up my oven at preheat at 180 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Further, I have to actually chop down the cherries and the raisins. But to make uh, my things easier, just give it a whisk in the mixie. Just one whisk so that they do not really crumble down. Just small chopped pieces will get. So my karai is on flame and I'll just put in the butter there and put in also the sugar and till the sugar melts we will go on we will go on stirring the entire thing so we will keep on stirring till all the sugar actually melts into the butter and then we will boil it after the sugar melts we will boil it for two more minutes and uh, yeah because it's already you know we have powdered sugar there of course cats of sugar so this will melt yeah it's already melted as you can see we will let it boil for two minutes and shut down the flame half the work is actually done so we have the boil there we just shut down the flame now now we'll throw in the nuts there there's no flame you need to remember that and now of course even the almond powder or almond chopped almonds anything all right and then of course even the uh, cream there. So this way everything goes in and we need to give it a nice mix there. It's off the flame and it's getting ready to be formed. The Florentines there. Okay. So this way we'll give it a mix. We need a baking dish with uh, some paper line there or any silver foil and then we need to arrange these into small small shapes of might be uh, you know one teaspoon each to form Florentines. So this way I have lined up with an aluminium foil and we will slowly put in 1 teaspoon each of all the entire portion here leaving gaps in between and our Florentines will go into the oven. So these are my Florentines to be and now they are ready. I have just cooked one 1 teaspoon and put it in there on my dish and this is going to the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for 10 to 12 minutes or you can check in between if they are browned they are done. So those are my Florentines looking crispy and nice. You might feel that they've all spread out but this is the way it normally is. Okay. Because I'm trying to see. This is how it comes out beautifully. And actually they are ready. Crisp and nice. And something all your kids will enjoy. Because and you will enjoy too. Because they're going to have something very very nutritious. They're going to have your cherries and almonds. Sometimes it becomes very difficult, you know, uh, to make the kids have almonds. They do not find it very, very tasty. And I think this is a very good way to make them eat almonds. Not only almonds, 
any you can do this with any uh, you know dry fruits that you want your kids to have so with those uh, all the ingredients together we have around almost 15 florentines see how they crispy and nice they are so these are my florentines ready crispy and nice and i bet they're all going to love it and you can give them as a you know as a snack anytime they feel like hungry you know hungry whenever they have to feel kids do feel hungry and in fact anytime they want to have something and it's a nice way of giving them such a crispy little you know crispy uh, snack they all going to love it and you are going to love it too as i said because it's so so nutritious so i hope you like this recipe of mine very quick very easy and with ingredients you can just remember just like that and one more thing here you can put in for florentines you can put in any uh, dried dry fruits of your choice and they are really going to come out well that's so easy also for me it took around 10 minutes or so and in between i checked and taken it out uh, taken them out so be careful uh, not you need not wait till 12 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade thank you for watching and i hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't